Hello everyone, my name is Anna Hansen and here are your top five life stories of the week. This week we kick it off with the Lincoln funeral train that made it stop in Hammond, Indiana at the South Shore Convention and Visitors Authority's headquarters. This train is an exact replica that carried Lincoln's casket throughout the country and many people came to see this historic artifact. Though it's deeply replicated and not exactly the exact train, it still was fascinating to see and a lot of people did wonder what exactly the funeral train was all about. And just in case you missed when the funeral train was here in Hammond over the past weekend, you can catch up on Northwest Indiana Life to read about the funeral train, why it was important to have it in Northwest Indiana at its only Chicagoland area stop, and what people thought about the funeral train. Our next story of the week is the United Effort Car Wash that happened in Michigan City. The car wash is a friendly competition between the Michigan City Police Department, the Michigan City Fire Department, and Michigan City Area Schools to raise money for the LaPorte County United Way. The fundraising went towards their $1 million goal for the year, but also was a great way to get people out to raise money for the United Way and get their cars cleaned. In case you missed this great community event in Michigan City that happens each year, you can read up about the United Effort Car Wash just in case you don't know what it's about and see a couple pictures as well. Our third story of the week is the Blow Away Breast Cancer event that happened at Puerto Regional Hospital. This event is done in correlation to Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which is this month because it happens each October. Puerto Regional raised a pink flag in front of their hospital, as well as handed out pink pinwheels to illustrate the Blow Away Cancer theme. They also brought in a couple breast cancer survivors that got their treatment at Puerto Regional Hospital to talk about their experiences and why they were glad that they went to Puerto to get their treatment. If you want to read these incredible stories and what it means for Puerto Regional to increase awareness about breast cancer, you can go on ValpoLife.com or NorthwestNALife.com to read up about blow away breast cancer. Our fourth event of the week is not really the event of the week, it is our football gallery of the week, which is soon ending because we've only got a couple weeks left. This week was the Laporte homecoming game versus Michigan City. And the port dominated Michigan City, even though Michigan City gave an incredible effort towards the end of the game. There was a lot of things happening on Friday, so in case you're at La Porte and you missed either the homecoming parade, the block party beforehand, the game itself, or the halftime homecoming court with the crowning of the king and the queen, you can now see our pages worth of photos at photos.ideasinmotionmedia.com to catch up with La Porte's homecoming game. And the last event is the Sip and Stroll that happened at Serenity Springs. The Sip and Stroll gathers a bunch of local communities and food, drink, and arts together to kind of showcase what they have to offer and also align with the current theme of breast cancer awareness. Everyone took a stroll through the gorgeous Serenity Springs location and got a taste of everything that they could have to offer. In case you missed this great event and want to catch up about the Sip and Stroll and learn more about Serenity Springs, you can go on Northwest Indiana Life to catch up. And those are our top five life stories of the week. Just in case you missed our events last week, you can catch up now with a handy playlist on YouTube. And you can also subscribe to get each of these videos in your inbox each week. I know you love that. And also you can catch up on all of our content each and every day in case you miss any of these top five stories or want to just keep up on the good news in Northwest Indiana. You can go to all five of our live sites, now available all the time, 24-7 on the internet. Reporting for Ideas in Motion Media, it's Anna Hansen. Have a great week.